It's me, Minister Lisa. Happy Mother's Day. I just wanted to take a moment to come by and acknowledge all of the individuals who have lost their mothers during this season of Mother's Day, whether it was in the past or even if it was recent. I wanted to take a moment to let you know that God sees you. According to his word in Psalms 139, it says he sees us no matter where we are. And he hears us no matter where we are. So during this time, let's take a moment and settle our spirits and listen. For God speaks in a small, still voice. And in that still voice of God speaking, we will hear our mothers. We will hear their wisdom. We will hear their encouragement. Sometimes we may even hear their correction. This is such a blessing for us to have during this Mother's Day season. Recently, I was introduced to TikTok. That's a little new for Minister Lisa, but there was a song on there that said, I got my mother. And part of the song says, she gave us life and sacrifice without asking. Don't know how she did it, but she always made a way. So if I could imagine God, I would see my mother's face. How profound a statement that would be. For during this Mother's Day, as people imagine their mothers and it shows on their face, let's give God to those individuals who may not have their mother, who may need to see God's face through a mother someone who can give them that motherly love and that mother wit. So this Mother's Day, though our hearts may be heavy, and we do understand, let's let the love of God shine through on this Mother's Day to encourage someone else. Thank you again. Happy Mother's Day. Talk with you soon. God bless. Mount Zion family and friends. I'm Minister Renee Rivers, and I want to wish all moms a happy Mother's Day and give you a few words of encouragement. You know, being a mom is a tough job in itself, but being a mom compounded with the pandemic has taken you and all of us to another level. But let me give you a few words of encouragement. Let me give you words of encouragement from God. And he says, I uh, he tells us, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And you can find that in Psalms 121, 1 uh, and 2. But I encourage you to read the entire, um, the entire uh, scripture there of 121. And in 1 Peter uh, 5, five and seven it says cast all your cares all your anxieties on him because he cares for you and in second timothy 1 7 it says for god fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind self-control you know god made promises to us and here are some of his, his promises that he made to us. He said, I will be with you. I will protect you. I will be your strength. I will answer you. I will provide for you. I will give you peace. And I will always love you. You know, God is a God of love. In John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his very best. And you know, to God's promises, we say yes and amen. Yes to his will and his way, to his word. And from us, amen. His word is true. So on this Mother's Day, I want to wish all of you a very happy Mother's Day. God bless you and be well. In this moment with God, we celebrate, we honor our mothers because it's Mother's Day. We celebrate our mothers. 
those mothers who are resting with our Father in heaven. We celebrate our mothers who are alive in our hearts. We celebrate all the mothers that are enduring and encouraging us on this day that's with us. And we also in, want to take a moment to acknowledge and say thank you for those that God has uh, positioned to be motherly towards us. We honor you this morning. Thank you, mothers, for who you are in Christ Jesus. We thank you as I remember my God, my mother in this moment, remembering God's goodness and mercy to me expressed through my mother. Mothers, know that you are a unique, fearfully and wonderfully made expression of God's love in the world for his children. Walk in that authority, that love, for you are a reflection of God's love in the world. Know that your words of encouragement, the sacrifices you make, your example of faith in God through Christ Jesus, make an indelible imprint upon your child's life. Mothers, continue to raise up your children in the way that they should go. And when they're old, they will not depart from it. In sad times, in bad times, mothers, you are there doing the best with whatever you have to make it better for us. You kiss our wounds and make it better. You comfort us in so many special ways. Thank you, mothers, for being messengers of hope and life. Thank you for your words of encouragement, like, hold your head up, baby. It's going to be all right. Good things are coming to you. God loves you. God will make a way somehow. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. He will strengthen your heart. I'm praying for you. I love you, sweetheart. We thank our mothers for those mouth-watering meals cooked with such love. The Southern Fried Chicken, the macaroni and cheese, the cornbread, the greens, those wonderful desserts, peach cobbler, and pound cake. I can taste them now. Thank you for how you discipline us. Sometimes with just a look that says, you better stop before you suffer the consequences and the ramifications of your actions. Thank you for the songs of faith you taught us and you sang to us. Thank you for the many prayers, even the prayers you prayed at night in the midnight hours for us. And throughout the day, your prayers and effectual prayers of the righteous veiling much in your children's lives. Let us take this day to love upon our mothers, to thank God for mothers and remember the amazing blessing God has given us through the sacrificial love of mothers. I'm remembering number six, 24 through 26, which tells us, and this is dedicated to mothers, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you mothers, family and, and children. Love upon your mothers today, especially today, but always and every day, be thankful for your mothers. God bless you and again, happy Mother's Day to all. Well, praise God, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is a good day to be serving the Lord. I just want to take a minute and just encourage every mother under the sound of my voice. As Mother's Day is coming up, this is a wonderful time to just say thank you. You know, when I thought about Mother's Day, those two words came to mind. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for who you are. I first of all, thank God for the vision of motherhood and what he's given us. He's given us something so precious and so powerful that we are created beings to bring forth life. And for those who are mothers and those who are mothering, 
We just want to take a minute here at Mount Zion to say thank you to every woman across Mount Zion, across the nation, in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We honor you. We salute you for all of the warmth that you've shown, all of the sacrifices that you have made. And we thank God that at this moment and in this time and in this season, that he's still using women. You know, God finds women to be very precious across the Bible. There's so much written about us. There's so much written for us. And we thank God for what he's doing in our lives. And I'm believing that right now that God is restoring the years that the locust and the canker worm ate. He's restoring everything that we've given out. Our God is just that kind of God. He's worthy of all of the praise, all of the honor, and all of the glory. And again, thank every mother for what you're doing, every tear that you've ever wiped, every, every prayer that you've ever had. But that mother that's turning over right now, even in the middle of the night, we're thanking God for what he's doing. We're thanking God that he hears your cries, he hears your prayers, and the God that we serve is going to continue to do what he does. He blesses us in the city. He blesses us in the field. He blesses us coming and going. And we're believing God for that word in Jeremiah 29, 11, that he has plans for us to prosper us, not to harm us and to give us hope and a future. And we thank God. In the name of our Lord, in the name of our Savior, our King, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, everyone, for doing what you do providing love straight from the throne of God. Amen.